Uh, Emily, would you like to uh, start us off with a question? Yeah, sure. I was just trying to get my hand raised. Um, Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just slow. Um, yeah, I, I guess I was just going to ask about Cal and, and kind of the importance of building depth behind Julian. Um, where is Cal and kind of how do you bring him along? I know you've said you kind of want to be careful with what situation you put him in as a freshman. Yeah, I mean, I, I think Cal, Cal's developing nicely. I think it's, you know, this is a big jump from from the level he was playing at in high school and to now be playing at this level. Um, he, you know, he's, he's working hard. He's got a great attitude. It's just the speed of the game right now is just the, his biggest adjustment that he has to get to. And, um, you know, we've played some teams that haven't had huge guys that had more pick and pop five men. So um, he's, he's come along nicely. I, I have high, I think he's going to develop into a really good player. It's just, He's five games into his freshman year in the big the Big Ten level. It's just going to take him some time. Do, do you feel like that's something you're going to need in the Big Ten? Just yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I have I'm going to have confidence putting him in the game and being able to bang. I mean, he did a pretty good job early in the season when we played some bigger some bigger guys. Uh, but Pat also has been really good at that at that backup five spot, and he gives us. Uh, a different, you know, a, a, even though he's small and undersized, he's kind of tough to guard and our offense runs really well with him. So um, I think the good thing is Cal doesn't have to, you know, I don't have to put him out there and, and the team doesn't have to kind of grow with him. We Cal can kind of grow on his own pace. Uh, Ahmed and then uh, Ross. Hey, Coach, good to see you. Um, I just wanted to ask, obviously, Tuesday we'll kind of kick off the first of bit of a tough slate. Um, uh, I guess have you kind of seen your team adjust, you know, post Thanksgiving um, and, and kind of going into Louisville on Tuesday? Yeah, you broke up on me. What was the question? Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I was saying, I know Tuesday kind of begins the first game of a tough stretch uh, for you guys. Um, so I guess how, how have you kind of seen your team uh, just in practice the last couple of days uh, going into Tuesday? Well, we, we had to take, uh, we had to take Saturday off because of, NCAA rules. So we took, we took yesterday off. We had a good practice today. I think they understand, they really understand what's ahead of them. Um, our first, our first true road game. Um, you know, obviously Louisville struggled a little bit, but Kenny still hasn't playing hard and uh, you know, winning on the road is hard to do. And um, you know, so we practiced good today. We practiced for a good three and a half hours. Guys were focused. Um, they understand, you know, road game and then, Big 10 play starts, so uh, their intensity is, was really good today and their focus was really good. All right, Ross. Uh, hey, Coach. Uh, just your bench, I think, is 296 in the country in points per game. Um, just wondering, do you think that's necessarily a bad thing or is that just something that this team is working into? I don't know. We scored 88, 90, and 95 points the last three games, so. Maybe it's a good thing. Do you expect more scoring to come from the bench down the stretch or no? Um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I, I could see guys like, you know, Ian being a, being a little bit bigger part of the offense. Um, you know, Jahari's a pass first guard, so he's never going to be a high score guy. He's just not his DNA right now. Um, you know, I, I think if we can work Noah into the rotation a little bit um, and get him some shots, those guys, but for the most part, you know, when you have four seniors, you're going to, those guys are going to take the shots. Um, they've earned it. They've worked. They've been here the longest. So I think, you know, the bench is young, which is, which is a good thing. They're getting experience. Um, you know, if we were scoring 40 points a game, I'd, I'd probably be a little bit more worried to get them in, but you know, we're, we are scoring the basketball a pretty good clip. So um, I think that that first unit is kind of getting used to each other and really finding a rhythm. And, and lastly, uh, it's been kind of rotating between Julian Reese having, you know, a great game scoring or, or your team shooting really well from the arc this season um, between the six games you've played so far. Do, is that intentional or is that just how the game plan has worked in each of those games? No, I mean, I think, I, you know, we didn't we didn't get, we shoot the ball overly well in the first half the other night. And I think Juju, um, I think, you know, where he's really getting better is he's um, he's consistently being a uh, He's constantly going out after the offensive glass, you know, where I think um, maybe last year, or even 
early in the season. I think he was going, you know, every other time he's going every time now and he knows it's a great way to get buckets. It's a great way uh, to, to get easy, easy points. So I think when we're, when we're shooting the ball, well, he just doesn't have as many off offensive opportunities because the ball's going through the net and he can't go get it. So, um, but I'm, I'm really proud of the way he's working down there. Thanks. Coach. All right, we'll go to uh, Ben and then Nikki. Hey, Coach. Uh, first, wanted to start to uh, see if you had an update on Pat uh, with the sprained ankle and if you expect him to play to, uh, Tuesday night. Yeah, uh, Pat practiced. He was full go today. Pat looked great. Uh, he's on, he's at 100%. Great. And then just looking at Louisville team that's owned six, obviously had some bad luck the other way. But is this a team on film to you that looks like they're – Oh, and six and kind of what weaknesses have, have stood out in, in watching them get off to that start? No, I mean, I think, you know, I've, I've only gotten to watch. Um, I watched their three home games and then only watched one of their. Uh, one of their Maui games, um, I, I, I think they've they've had a couple of tough, really bad bounces against them um, in the early season, which can be tough. Uh, I think L Ellis is as good a guard as we're going to see all year. Um, he has an unbelievable high workload. He gets everybody involved. They're big. They rebound the ball well. Um, and they're, they're at home. So it, it's a big challenge for us. I mean, I just think, you know, watching them, um, you know, they, they've had some bad luck and, and they played some really good teams. I mean, their schedule has been brutal. So uh, this is a good test for us. Uh, Nikki and then uh, Ryan. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned uh, Jahari being a bit more of a pass first guard. I know he's the second most assist on the team coming off the bench. What does he kind of provide on the floor um, when either, you know, one of Jameer or Don aren't, aren't out there? Yeah, I mean, it, I think he's, you know, Jahari is really a freshman. So, you know, he'll, he's only played like, didn't play last year. So um, I think he's starting to get get a little bit more comfortable, get a little bit more confidence in, in what he's doing out there. Um, you know, the offense is, is a little bit different than what we ran last year. Um, and obviously the guys around him are, are different, but I think he's getting a lot of confidence. You know, he gives, I think it's a nice switch up. Um, you know, we, I'm really on Jameer to, to, to get his tempo going. And I think Jahari is a little bit of a, you know, he comes in, he's got a little bit smoother, a little bit slower, a little bit more methodical, but he runs our offense really well. He gets guys in the right position. Um, I think he's just been a really steady guy out there for us. All right, Ryan. I just have a quick question. I remember during uh, the team media day, you you mentioned how once you guys get through December, you feel like the team will be, will be picking up and be really good. But through through this 6-0 start, do you feel like you're kind of ahead of, of that? Or it's not like what are some things you would like to see the team improve on? Um, I Yeah, I, I have a huge list. It's on my desk right here. Um, of what we need to get better at. I, I'm just not going to tell you guys that because then everyone's going to know what our weak, what our weaknesses are. Um, I, I do think we're a little bit ahead of schedule. I love, I love how this team has worked. I love their attitude. Um, I think they've, they're much more ahead of, I didn't think they would pick up scouting reports as, as well as they have. Um, and they've picked up our game plans extremely well. Um, so I think we're definitely ahead of where I thought we'd be from that aspect. I didn't think we'd be this connected defensively, um, especially listening to the scouting report as we have. But we we have a, I mean, where is it at? It's right here. I have a, I have a, a huge list of everything that needs to, needs to get better and stuff that we have to work on. But it's top secret. All right, Emily. Yeah, just kind of going off the previous question about Louisville. Um, when you're playing a team that's 0-6, I mean, I know you have a mature team, but is there anything you proactively say to just to make sure there's no, I don't want to say, I mean, it's a big opponent, but just not dismissing of of the opponent to your team? No, I, I mean, I, th I think my message since um, I think we played Friday, I, you know, Friday after the game was, you know, it's, we're not even in December yet. We, we, we have to really focus on us and, and how much we have to get better. Um, and I think that's one reason why practice was so good today. I mean, I, I really harped on them on film. Uh, we watched 
45 minutes of Louisville film before practice. These guys know these are good players. They've had a tough schedule. It's, it's a road game, but this is also about us still having to get better at so many areas for us to be, uh, to t continue to have the, the year we want to have. So I think that, that helps. I think if this was, if this was February, late February, I'd, I'd worry about that, but we have so much stuff to work on and so much stuff to improve on, which is, which is exciting. Cause I think we're playing decent basketball. Um, if we can get better at, you know, the, the 37 things I have in my notepad, I, I think we could be a good team. Anybody else? Anything else for coach? All right, okay. great. Everybody All have right. a safe have a safe Sunday, please. All right. Thanks, coach. Thanks, everybody. I'll send out the recording in just a minute.